kids and families. Whether you're watching this video as a review from Sunday morning or because you didn't make it here on Sunday, I'm just so glad that you're here watching it now. What you're about to experience is some worship so you can sing and dance and worship Jesus together, and then you will watch our weekly Bible story video. This video and the story changes every week, and it's the same video that we watch here at the Park Church on Sunday mornings. And then at the end, there will be some discussion questions that you and uh, your family can discuss and dive deeper into the lesson together. I encourage you to do that as a family. Asking questions and discussion is how we grow in deeper relationship and understanding of who Jesus is. And then lastly, in the description below, there are some lesson bonuses, like a weekly coloring sheet. And so I also encourage you to check that out. I pray that as you watch this video, that you grow uh, together as a family in your relationship with Jesus. Take care and have a great week. Can do anything. Jesus is amazing. He's incredible. There's no one like him. Jesus does miracles, the impossible. There's no one like him. He's big and strong. So I clap my hands. I sing and dance. He's dumb. Because you're with me, you're with me. I am not afraid. 
Nothing is too hard for you guest today. She is one of my personal superheroes, although I don't know if she knows it. So, I get the chance to tell her today. I know some of you aren't going to school yet, or maybe you're going to preschool, but someday you just might meet a very important person with a very important mission. They're called Crossing Guards, and their mission is to get you across the street safely so you can get to school. They bravely step out into the street before anyone else, and they make sure the coast is clear both ways. Then, they hold up their hands, and if a car comes, the crossing guard commands them to stop, and they hold up a stop sign, so that we can cross safely. Pretty heroic, huh? But that's not it. My crossing guard, Cheryl Lynn, always remembers my name, and always says something to me that makes my day just a little better. Hey, Cheryl Lynn! Hey, Kylie. Great to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for talking to us today. I just wanted to let you know that you are a superhero to me. Really? Me? Yes. You bravely get us across the street, and you always have something kind to say that makes me smile. How do you do it? Well, I love it. I feel like every day I wake up, God gives me a special mission, and that is to get you kiddos safely across the street and make you smile and God totally helps me accomplish that mission. For sure! I wish I had a mission like that. But Callie, you do, and I've seen you doing it. Callie, triple what take? What, what, what? We had to talk about this more. Miss Sherilyn, will you hang around while we check out our Bible story? I'd love to. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of John chapter 14. One day, Jesus was talking to his friends. It was almost time for Jesus to leave and go be with God the Father. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That means to obey him. We obey by loving God and loving others as we love ourselves. Sounds simple, but can be pretty hard to do. 
So Jesus said he would not leave his friends to do this mission all by themselves. He would be with them through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is like a gift. The Holy Spirit lets us know that we're not alone. The Holy Spirit reminds us that Jesus is always with us, that God is always with us. The mission that Jesus gave his friends is the same mission Jesus gives us today to love God and to love others. We can love God by doing things like praying. We can love others by doing things like sharing and being kind. Jesus wanted his friends, including us, to know that because of the Holy Spirit, every day would be another chance to show Jesus we love him by obeying him. Do you think you can carry out this mission? Good, because God gives everyone a mission. I guess you're right. We all do have a mission. But when did you see me accomplishing my mission? Well, one morning, I was waving you all across the street, and I looked just in time to see a kiddo that was younger than you trip. I had to keep my hand up to stop traffic. So I was just about to ask someone to help when you put your hand out and helped them up. Wow! I remember that. I didn't even really think about it. I just did it! That was the Holy Spirit helping you carry out your mission, loving God and loving others. That's amazing! And I'm not the only one with this mission, right? God gives everyone a mission.